Hi everyone, welcome to our last MLA Beaming Alumni for season two this academic year. Today we're going to have Jocelyn, who is our president, and here we have Lewis, who is the VP of Programs, who will become the next president for the Alumni Union Board. So, a couple of questions. So, Jocelyn, how will you prepare Lewis as an incoming president to ensure the success of the Alumni Union Board? a really good question. Basically just continuing to share what I've already learned as president in, in, in my time here. Um, I feel like Lewis has already taken a lot of steps in learning about the role and really coming to me and asking for questions, but really also letting him um, start taking the lead on some things and he already has and just reminding him of some of the projects that we've all started as a board and just having him continue that which is something that he's already done um, and just reminding him more about what it is that we do and he gets it he already knows what's up but just still those little reminders and to really let him know that like um, it's it's really up to him on how he takes this role and I already know where he's headed with it so um, yeah Okay, well, thank you for that answer. And then in your role as president right now, what has been the most satisfying thing you have accomplished or been a part of? Oh, that's a really great question. Honestly, I think for me, it was knowing alongside with my board that I had, especially this year and in everything that we've gone through, really being able to plan stuff and do things in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, it was something that definitely I know I wouldn't have been able to do by myself. You know, I had so much help from not only our program advisors, but obviously my execs and my fellow directors, you know, being able to say like, hey, we did stuff during a hard time. You know, we were able to do so many things and really make a difference in students uh, lives here on campus as much as we could. So I think knowing that um, being a part of being a part of that process, you know, and leading a, a group of amazing people in that time to do what they can was just really wonderful. And knowing that we were able to we were able to make an impact on on a lot of students this past year. Okay, and then Lewis, what interested you in running for the president position? So just a little background story, I guess you could say. Um, I've been a part of the board. Like I started as a general member my freshman year, so back in fall of 2018. And just seeing how the directors, you know, engaged with students and like what they took on as a director, it really interested me. So I um, applied to be a director my spring semester of freshman year, so in 2019. And then after having that director role the next semester and the next year, I kind of saw like, okay, this is really interesting. Like, I really like what this board is doing for the community. And I was like, I kind of want to take the next step and, you know, uh, run for an exact position. So that's what I did. I ran for VP of programs. Um, I was elected into that position and that's what I've been doing for the last year or so. And then from there, I was like, okay, I really, really like what we're doing here. So I think I want to take it to the next level, uh, pretty similarly to Jess's path. Um, so I ran for president and I just, I wanted to do that for the community, for the students, and just make sure that we continued the way that Jess has been leading us and just, you know, keep going in this path and make sure that we keep the right intentions and we're planning uh, fun events for the students. So just wanna keep her legacy going. Speaking of legacy, great answer. Jessalyn, what do you hope your legacy as IUB president will be after you leave? Oh, that's a really interesting question. Um, I guess, I mean, I think one thing that I've always hoped for in being as a president is really helping the board, you know, really step out of, of a box that I felt like we've been in and really just having the directors and my fellow execs to step out of their comfort zones and like what previous um, boards have done in the past. And I feel like my legacy as, as a president of the board, you know, I think has been able to really help um, 
my directors and my execs and even myself step out of that comfort zone and really try different things, um, try to plan new ways to get students involved, you know, whether it came down to marketing or just ways to get us out there and just planning different things and just kind of breaking from certain norms that we've had. Um, and not that those norms were bad. It was just, you know, try to try something different, see how we can make these even and better for the students on our campus. And I think, I think I've been able to help with that process. You know, I've been, I've been encouraging everyone as much as I can, and they've taken the initiative to do that themselves. And being able to see that has been really wonderful. But also, too, I guess you know, leading in such a harsh time. I mean, I started off my presidency and right smack when everything kind of changed. And so it was a lot of changes, you know, a lot of like, okay, how do we redo this? And so I'm hoping that um, I've been able to guide everyone in that direction. And now with Lewis coming in, he's gonna be able to bring everybody, you know, somewhat back to what things used to be. And so it'll be really interesting to see how we go from planning in a pandemic to now planning, you know, as things get better along the way. So, um, but I think in that time too, we've been able to help step outside of the box, you know, virtual planning and stuff and how that can be continued, but even like in an even bigger and better sense, so. Yeah. Well, I think you've done an incredible job and I can't wait to see how normalcy would look like. I'm really excited. Um, but Lewis, what is one big goal you want to accomplish as your role as president? Yeah, and so this is a great question actually, and I think it does kind of take off of where Jess um, left off with her question. So, you know, last spring we were all thrown into the pandemic and we had to like quickly adjust to our programs. Um, we went fully online. So we were doing all virtual programming last spring. And then, so that was a big shift for our, um, our group of students. Um, and then this past year, we've been doing mostly virtual with a little bit of a mixture of in-person, as you guys know. Um, so I think going forward next year, my goal um, would just to be um, preparing the board and myself for when the university announces that it is safe to have, you know, larger in-person gatherings and larger activities and programs for the students because i think that you know with virtual programming we've continued doing great things and we adjusted like very quickly like i said um we never you know left the students hanging without any programs or anything like that but at the same time we've all been through it we know that being on zoom for you know a few hours every day for classes it does get tiring and draining and it's just it, it lacks, you know, that in-person connection. So my goal is preparing the board for when they make that announcement and making sure that we have all the safety protocols and have all of our events laid out in a safe manner. Um, because of course, physical safety comes first. That's our main priority, but at the same time, you know, with the pandemic, it, it takes a huge toll and there's definitely a mental health focus too. So getting these events you know rolling back in person we just need to be there for the students and make sure that we're giving them that social interaction that they're lacking in this past year um, so i really look forward to that and i'm looking forward to getting our directors planning in-person events again because many of them are new to um, the board and i think that it's going to be a great experience and just change things a little bit for them Sweet. So with that being said, like, do you have any ideas or events that you would want to see for the upcoming school year? Yeah, so this is a great question, actually. And kind of going back to, you know, the pandemic, it's always talked about. It's such a big focus lately. Um, but I do think that the graduates of the last two years of high school really lacked on their, you know, their junior or senior year experiences. So one of the main priorities that I'm going to focus on um, in my role is giving the directors, you know, what they need in order to plan events focused, not just on the entire, you know, um, community and students, but the freshmen and sophomores because they lacked their homecoming experience, they lacked their prom experience in most cases. So I think that, you know, if we can come together as a board and plan one big celebration like a prom 
or like a homecoming situation, I, I just think that would give back to them and give many of them an opportunity to wear their attire that they probably had planned out previously. So I just want to make sure that we're there for them. Um, I know that it especially can be hard, you know, your freshman year, sophomore year, making friends on campus. So I think that giving them that opportunity would just be amazing. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm like excited to see what we're able to bring to students. Um, is there any last final thoughts from any one of you? Um, as as someone who is graduating and you know i'm just really excited to see where the board goes i know that it's in excellent hands moving forward not just with lewis being our president but all the new members we have coming in all of our current directors who are now becoming execs i'm really excited to see what you guys are able to do in the next uh coming fall and i cannot wait for students to see what you all have in store. and i'm really excited um and i'm gonna miss all of you so thank you yeah and I, I just want to add that we're gonna miss you too jess and we appreciate everything you've done for uh this community not just the board but you know the student body as a whole you've really held the group together through an unprecedented time like it was very difficult at times, but you know, you were definitely the glue in a lot of the situations and you were just there to keep us going. So thank you for that. And without you, you know, I wouldn't be able to continue on your legacy. So great work. I 100% agree with everything you said. And like, I was able to get, gain another friend. So I hope we can continue our friendship after as well. Of course. Well, but. Thank you for tuning in to the season two finale of Enlightening Illini. I hope that everyone enjoys the rest of the semester and their break, and we hope to see you again in the fall.